How do you gather and incorporate customer feedback and input into your product decisions? Yeah, so many methods in which you can you can gather, both quantitative and qualitative. So anything from a customer suggestions portal where customers can go and put ideas and vote on it, I think it's super important. There's also a lot of really great like community information you can get from there because other users can comment and do things like that. So that type of information, internal stakeholders. So many of your internal team members likely have conversations with customers and also really likely have really great information. So figuring out how you can come capture customer information from your internal team members is also really important. Um, right now with where I work, we typically do that within an internal suggestions portal to make sure that we're capturing that information. We also have user interviews, which is more qualitative, lots of great information and support tickets. It is crazy how much good information is in there. People will submit it and not all the time do product teams see all of the information and support tickets? Because usually what they're seeing is when there's an issue or when there's a request. But also a lot of times you'll see people that are getting stuck and they're like, hey, I don't really understand how to use this. And a support team member will like respond back and help them. But what's really insightful for a product team is that if you have 50 tickets coming in for a new feature because people don't know how to use it, even though the support team is helping them use it, but that's a key to you that, you know, may, hey, maybe you need to go look at that and figure out what's going on with the user experience there and how to improve it. But capturing all of that and collecting it, super important. And then I think once you have as much quantitative and qualitative data you can, doing a thematic analysis and all of that to understand what are the categories of data based off of the customer data that you have is a really helpful exercise as well. Interesting. You brought up the part about, the part about support tickets. How do you aggregate that data? Because it's not classified and nice. It's not in a spreadsheet. It's just people going, I can't use this thing. This thing broke one star. Like, how do you turn that into something? Yeah, te teamwork. It, it Honestly, a lot of customer data and trying to like group it into themes is working with other teams to see how they capture that customer data in their process and do it at that point. So, you know, if you have a support team that's essentially has customer or has support tickets coming in is to say, hey, you know, what tool are you guys using for your support ticket system? Is there any way that as these come in, you guys can help us triage them? You know, is it about a specific area of our software? Is it a how-to that they have? Is it an issue? Is it a bug? Like whatever categorization that you feel will help you better understand your customer base, bringing that to those teams that are collecting that customer data and they can help group that and categorize that for you on the front end will help you as a product manager on the back end. Interesting. I want to just do one little dabble into user testing. Have you ever had the experience where you think you designed something perfect to work with the UX team? You're like, this is laid out perfectly. And you go put it in front of customers and you're like, okay, we just need you to do X, Y, and Z. And they're like, I have no idea how to do that. And you're like, yeah. there's a big button right in the middle of the screen that says that. Have you had that happen to you? Yeah, no, that's a that's a good question because yeah, a lot of the times I think of user testing at the front, but like doing A B testing, of course, is a type of user testing that you can do after the fact. Mm -hmm. We have had situations in which we would think that a user would understand something the way we would think, but it's usually not that far off because you know if you think about it and you do that user testing in the beginning with your mockups, you usually mm -hmm. catch most of it. But there are situations in which that happens. You know, I, I can think of a very specific one in which the look and the feel of what we were doing was just like not resonating with our user base. And those are usually the ones that quickly go into the suggestions portal, get escalated to the top, and you can capture those pretty quickly.